Massachusetts for tonight's Quad One matchup in the MIBL playoffs between the Parkway Nine and the Ashland Sevens. Starting lineups for the visitors tonight from Hyde Park, the Parkway Nines at two and one, the nine seed. Leading off, number 20, Matt Anzalone, the right fielder. Batting second, number 13, the first baseman, Sam Petapa. The shortstop, number seven, Chris Bear. Batting cleanup, number 16, playing center field, Dan Donato. Left fielder, number 24, Kevin Zarnock. The third baseman wearing number eight, Matt Brown. Behind the plate wearing number 17, Tommy Goonan. Number 15, the designated hitter, Jacob Gonzalez. Wearing number three, playing second base, Kevin Bruin. On the mound tonight for Parkway, wearing number nine, Asher Kaplan. Parkway is managed by Barry Sullivan and Mike Connolly. Now for your 2-0 number one seed, Ashland Sevens. Leading off, we're at number 16, the second baseman, Mason Dushney. Batting second, wearing number 10, playing center field, Sam Farrell. Batting third, catching number 15, Jackson Hornung. Batting cleanup, playing first base, wearing number two, Dom Cavanaugh. The shortstop, number 13, Tyler Dossis. Playing left field, wearing number 14, Kevin Balowitz. The designated hitter, number 27, Larry Tang. Playing third base, wearing number 24, Shea Donovan. Batting ninth, wearing number 19, playing right field, Nick Calabrese. On the mound tonight for the Ashland Sevens, Dylan Fonseca. Ashland is led by manager Jake Obed. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, draw your attention to the area in front of the pitching mound. I'd like to recognize two special members of the Ashland Sevens family. First, General Manager of the Ashland Legion Post, longtime supporter and stalwart member of the Ashland program, team and management would love to like to thank and please join in recognizing Rich Powell. <laughs> Joining Rich, throwing out the first pitch alongside former standout for the Sevens, dedicated member of the program described by the staff this year as the glue. He's the man behind the photo, which is given each night to the MVP of the team's game, Andrew Sterney Sternick. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's see a strike. <laughs> Thank you again to Rich Powell and Andrew Sternick. Thanks, gentlemen. This time, if you could remove your caps, direct your attention beyond the left field area over the left field parking lot in the distance as we stand for our national anthem.
Good luck to both teams. Let's play ball. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Robert H. Adams Field in Holliston for Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoffs. And this evening, it is the 2-0 Ashland Sevens versus the 2-1 and one in Hyde Park. Of course, those are the postseason records overall. The Ashland Sevens are 16-1, and one. Hyde Park is 9-9. Nine and nine. Tom Nappy on the call. Connor Donovan is on camera. This is Ashland 7 Summer Baseball airing on HCAM in Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, as well as HCAT in Holliston. And if the Ashland 7s win tonight, they advance on to the final four of the postseason in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. If they shall lose tonight to Hyde Park, otherwise known as Parkway, we will see you tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. for the final game of the pod round of the MIBL playoffs. Let's take a look at the starters. Dylan Fonseca is on the mound for the Ashland Sevens. His battery mate is Jackson Hornung at first base, Dom Cavanaugh. The second baseman, Mason Dushney. At shortstop, Tyler Dossis. At third base, Shea Donovan. From left to right, Kevin Balowitz, Sam Farrell, and Nick Calabrese. As for Hyde Park, starting things off will be the right fielder, Matt Anzalone. Sam Pettipa, the first baseman, will bat second. The shortstop, Chris Bear, will bat third. The center fielder, Dan Donato, will hit cleanup. Kevin Zarnock, the left fielder, will bat fifth. Matt Brown, the third baseman, will hit sixth. Tommy Goonan, the catcher, will bat seventh. Jacob Gonzalez, the DH, will hit eighth. Kevin Bro in the second baseman, will bat ninth. It is a beautiful evening for baseball here in Holliston. Temperatures are in the low 70s and a few clouds in the sky, but just gorgeous conditions for this game here tonight. And we are ready to get things started off as Matt Anzalone will step to the plate, the right fielder for Hyde Park. And Dylan Fonseca will come out to the mound. And he is set to go. And we are underway in game three of the postseason for the Ashland Sevens. They've had tremendous success here so far in Holliston during the postseason. In game one, they took down Kingston 26 to nothing. In game two, they got the win over Walpole 13 to one. As the first pitch to Matt Anzalone is in there for a strike, 0 and one. Fonseca set to deal. Wind up and the pitch. And that is a fair ball picked up by Hornung. Throw to first, not a problem. Two to three for out number one. That'll bring up Sam Pettipa, the first Sam baseman. Pettipa. So the other game's currently happening right now. You have Natick going up against Braintree. Braintree and Weymouth in the first game today of quad two went played nine innings, and Braintree ended up getting the six to five win to advance to the finals versus Natick, as that's fouled away by Pettipa. And then also you got Franklin who defeated Dedham taking on Medfield. And you also have the winner of Needham and Milton taking on Quincy over in quad four. The winner of each quad will advance to the final four in Quincy. Swing and a miss there, 0-2. Oh and, and the Ashland Sevens hoping to join the final four in Quincy next week. And the umpire is going to say Pettipa got hit. I don't know about that one. I don't think it touched him, but the umpire thinks otherwise. Runner on first, one out. Chris Bear, the shortstop, will step to the plate. Uh, 
Little rough break there. It almost looked like he tried to lean into it. Well, he got what he wanted there. And he'll take a lead off of first. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. The Ashland Seven so far in the playoffs have outscored their two opponents in total 39 to one. As this is up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to second for one, throw to first. They double him up, 6-4-3 to wrap up the top of the first. To the bottom of the inning we go. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Playoff Baseball. Bottom of the first Mason inning, the Ashland Dushney. Sevens coming to the plate. Mason Dushney will start things off. He's the second baseman. Sam Farrell, the center fielder, batting second. Jackson Hornung, the catcher, hitting third. Tom Cavanaugh, the first baseman, hitting cleanup. Tyler Dossis, the shortstop, batting fifth. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder, hitting sixth. Lawrence Tang, the DH, hitting seventh. Shea Donovan, the third baseman, hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. First pitch is low to Dushney, one and zero. Oh. On the mound, it is Asher Kaplan for Parkway as he is just about set to deliver the second pitch of the bottom of the first. And it's in there for a strike. His battery mate is Tommy Goonan at first base at Sam Petipa. Over at second base, it's Kevin Bruin. Chris Bear, the shortstop at third base. Matt Brown will take you left to right after this pitch. And it's down low, two and one. Left to right, Kevin Zarnock, Dan Donato, and Matt Anzalone for Parkway. As Dushney steps back in, wind up and the pitch. And he gets a piece of this over to the shortstop. He gloves it, throw to first, and it is in time. Six to three, four out number one, Sam Farrell will step in. Well, the Sevens bats have been going strong all postseason long. Sam Farrell had a pretty good day yesterday. He ended up doubling, reaching on an error, scoring two runs, driving in a run, and had a stolen base. And he'll take this one low, 1-0. One oh. Ashland Sevens led by head coach Jake Obid. In his second season at the helm, wind up in the pitch, a little high. As for Parkway, they are led by Barney Stammen and Mike Conley, wind up in the pitch. There's a strike. Two and one on Sam Farrell. Kaplan set to deal. And that one a little bit low, three and one. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to left field and it is caught. Two away. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the catcher. Jackson Hornung had a three run bomb in the bottom of the fifth last night to put the mercy rule into effect against Walpole and help the Sevens get out of there with a five inning 13 1 victory. And he'll take that one slightly high as it comes out of the catcher's glove. 1 and 0. Oh. Well, looks like Kaplan has some pretty good velocity out there on the mound for Parkway. Wind up and the pitch. There's a breaking pitch in there for a strike. One and one. Nice pitch there by Kaplan. Gets the sign he likes, Sandy deals. And this is up the left side, past the dive of the third baseman. Here goes Hornung. He's going to take off to second base. The throw in is cut off. And Jackson Hornung is aboard with a two-out stand-up double. First baseman, number two. That'll bring up Dom, Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman and cleanup man in this Ashland Sevens batting order. He had a good day yesterday, ended up scoring four runs. And he drove in four runs as well. And he ended up going four for five at the plate with a walk. That is down low. And a correction there, he was actually four for four at the plate and hit by a pitch. So he reached base every time up. And 
having Hornung and Kavanaugh in your three and four spots in the lineup, that could certainly be deadly. Breaking pitch in there for a strike. One and one. Wind up and the pitch. And Kavanaugh gets a piece of this one. Over to left field it goes. Hornung being waved around. And he is going to come around the throw home. Is it in time? No. And Hornung is going to cross home plate for the first sevens run of the game. And now the throw to third to get Kavanaugh. And they get him. He tried to take advantage of the disagreement by Parkway with the tag on Hornung. And took off for third base but was tagged out. But the Sevens do play to run. It is one to nothing, Ashland, as we head to the top of the second on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Top of the second inning, a one nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. Dan Donato, the center fielder, to start things off for Parkway. Jackson Hornan crossing home plate on a Dom Cavanaugh double. Cavanaugh then tried to advance to third as there was some disagreement at home plate as to whether Hornung was safe or not, but Parkway was aware of the situation and threw down to third to get Kavanaugh. One and oh count on Donato. And this is up the right side, glove by Kavanaugh. He'll step on first. A three unassisted ground out for Donato, one away. Fielder number 24. That'll bring up Kevin Zarnock, Zarnock the left fielder. And that Hornung Kavanaugh tandem in the lineup has been tremendous all season for the Sevens, helping them put runs across, and it paid off once again here. And based on what I've seen so far, it looks like we have a good pitching matchup on our hands here tonight. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Some of the highlights from the day in Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoff action. In the first game here at Holliston, Sam Petipa and Parkway, no hit wall pull, and they took the game seven to one to advance to this game. The nightcap with Ashland as Fonseca set to deal. That is down low, one and one. And then Braintree and Weymouth, they had a two to one final in eight innings. Cahill got the winning RBI infield single for Braintree to walk off with the win and advance to take on Natick in the nightcap. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air. Foul territory right side. Kavanaugh trying to track it down, but he won't be able to get there out of play anyhow. One and two, good effort there by Dom. Dylan Fonseca has pitched well this season for the Ashland Sevens, and he has been a big part of the success on the mound. We'll get you some stats after this pitch. And this is hit in the air past the reach of the second baseman, and Zarnock is aboard with a one-out single. That'll bring up Matt Brown, the third baseman. Third baseman, number eight, Matt you know, Dylan Brown. Fonseca has worked 17 innings for the Ashland Sevens this season. Two wins, no losses, a save to his credit. And he has a 2.88 ERA. As he is working from the stretch with a runner on first and one out, runner taking off, and it's gonna get by Hornung. Stolen base for Zarnock. One and O oh on Brown. I'll tell you something, looking at this Parkway team so far, they came to play tonight. As Hornung going to have a quick discussion with Fonseca. Matt Brown steps back in. One and O oh count. Wind up and the pitch. Little low there. Two. Oh, they're going to give him a strike on that one. One and one. Oh, it was indeed a ball. 
I broke my golden rule of following the scoreboard. The 2-0 pitch. There's a strike, two and one. Fonseca set to deal, looks at second and delivers. And this is hit in the air, into right field it goes. Zarnock being waved around and the throw in, cut off the throw home, is it in time? Got him! Zarnock tagged out at home plate. And the Parkway coach is not happy. Two outs in the inning. And that'll bring up Tommy Goon in the catcher. Tommy what a Goon. great throw by Dushney at second base to Horning behind the plate. And the tag laid on. And that Brown was thinking he had the RBI there. Brown with a slight lead off of first. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Already some drama here in the early innings of this game. Certainly gives it that championship feel, or at least that feel of a game deep into the postseason. Brown with a lead off of first. Fonseca deals. A little low there. One and one is the count. Wide up and the pitch. Down low. A 2 1 pitch to Goonan. Brown with a slight lead off of first. Time called by the hitter and granted. A 1 0 Ashland Sevens lead here in the top of the second. A little outside there, three and one. Well, Matt Brown had a good piece of hitting, but a great throw in from Calabrese over to Dushney, and then Dushney with that quick release, getting it to Hornung, so Hornung can lay the tag on. This is up the middle, takes a couple hops. Glove by Dossis, flip to second for the force out, and they get him. A six to four force out to retire the side in the top of the second. We will head to the bottom of the second inning. Ashland leading Hyde Park one to nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Playoff Baseball. Number 13, the shortstop, Tyler Gossis. You gotta give the runner a little space at least to get in there. Bottom of the second inning, a one nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. Tyler Gossis set to start things off. Five, six, and seven do up. Gossis, Balowitz, and Tang to face Asher Kaplan. Wide up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh and one. Well, Hyde Park their last couple of games showing off some good pitching. A no hit game by Petapot today and now you got the hard throwing Asher Kaplan out there. Kaplan set to deliver. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and two. Dossis has hit the ball well in this postseason as most of the sevens have. And he'll get a piece of this one. Over to right field it goes. That'll drop in for a leadoff single by the shortstop. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Kevin Balowitz. Tyler Dossis improving that 348 batting average. Kevin Balowitz on the season, a 294 batting average, 367 on base percentage, 15 RBIs, and five runs scored. Checking at first, nearly got away from the first baseman. Dossis slides back safely.
Slate lead by Dossis once again, wind up and the pitch. There's a called strike. Well, the last time these two teams met, it was a, another good pitcher's duel. That was back on Sunday, July 26 at Ashland Middle School. We have that game for you. Ashland got the six to nothing victory in that one. A little high there, checking at first, and that is going to get away, but Dossis will stay put, did not get far enough away. One and one count on Balowitz. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. In that regular season meeting with Hyde Park, it was Tyler Dossis who took the hill. He went all seven innings, giving up six hits and no runs, striking out six. And a good eye there, two and two. And it was certainly debatable on whether you go with Fonseca or Dossis today, but I think Coach Obit had the logic of saving Dossis if there's a game tomorrow as Balowitz goes down by way of the K. That'll bring up Lawrence Tang, the DH, who got the Ashland Sevens Andrew Sternick Award last night for his incredible performance. And he was tremendous in that 13-1 win over Walpole, wind up and the pitch, takes that one low. Quickly gathered up by Goonan behind the plate. Set to deliver, there's a strike. One and one. Line up and the pitch, a little low there. Uh, it was indeed called a strike, one and two. And that is low, throw to first. And Dossus slides back safe. Two and two. Kaplan set to deal. And Tang with the swing and a miss gets away from the catcher. But that will third indeed be a strikeout. Two Shea away, Donovan. Shea Donovan, the third baseman, will step in. Well, Tang yesterday, he went two for three at the plate with a run scored in four RBIs. Now you got Shea Donovan stepping in. He went one for two at the plate with a run scored. And he takes a strike there. Shea Donovan providing some incredible defense on the right side of the diamond at third base as he'll foul that one away, 0-2. Runner on first, two outs for the sevens here in the bottom of the second, a 1-0 lead. Wind up and the pitch. And there's a called strike. Three straight strikeouts by Asher Kaplan, and we will head to the top of the third. It's Ashland one, Parkway nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland seven summer playoff baseball. Top of the third inning, eight, nine, and one do up for Parkway. Jacob Gonzalez steps in, and Dylan Fonseca set to deliver. Leg lift and the pitch, swing and a miss, hard swing there. Here's the 0-1.
Breaking pitch outside there, one and one. Dylan Fonseca, an 18-year-old out of Holliston, graduated this past spring. Leg lift and the pitch, fouled away, one and two. This game had an eight o'clock start. On just a beautiful night here at Robert H. Adams Field. Fonseca set to deliver. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a breaking pitch a little outside. Two and two. So if Ashland wins this game, the pod play is over. They'll move on to the final four. If Parkway wins this game, we'll have the final game tomorrow at 5 p.m. And this is a fair ball up the middle, picked up by Fonseca. Throw to first, and it's going to get away from the first baseman. And Gonzalez is going to keep on going. And he will get rewarded second base on the overthrow. An errant throw there by Fonseca. That will bring up Kevin three. Bruin. Kevin Bruin. So Bruin will step in with a runner on second and no outs for Parkway. Big opportunity here. Fonseca delivers, there's a bunt up the middle and he'll pick it up, throw to first and get the out. But advancing to third is Gonzalez. So a nice bunt there by Bruin to get that runner to third. A one right to three fielder, out, Matt and that'll bring up Matt Anzalone, the right fielder. Gonzalez taking a bit of a lead off of third base. Certainly has some good speed. And a little low there. Nice block by Hornung. Gonzalez was about halfway down the line, just waiting to see if he should go or not. And he takes a big lead up that line. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. Fonseca set to deal. Breaking pitch a little inside, says the umpire. Two and one. Wind up and the pitch. Low. Three and one. Fonseca deals. There's a strike. That'll fill up the count. Big pitch here. Wind up and the pitch. Foul tip stays alive. Count remains full. Sam Petipa do up next for Parkway. Fonseca set to deliver. Fouled away, the battle continues. Battle here between Anzalone and Fonseca.
He deals. And this is hit in the air, foul territory just behind us. Count remains full. This has been a eight pitch at bat so far. Fonseca delivers and a foul tip there. It continues on. Anzalone just staying alive. Well, it's at bats like this that could really shift momentum in your favor or hurt you. Who will win the battle here? Fouled away. That's 10 pitches in this plate appearance for Matt Anzalone. And he'll get a piece of it. Glove by the second baseman. Throw to first. They get the out. And Gonzalez had to stay put at third. A nice quick reaction there by Dushney. He looked at third, made sure the runner stayed put, and got the ball over to first base quickly. Two away. That'll bring up Sam Pettipa. Dushney, he has been clutch and a number of situations this season in the infield for the sevens. That's gonna get by Hornung and the runner will stay put at third. It is a very short area behind home plate till you get to the backstop. So it is a benefit to the team on the field as that ball, if it hits that backstop, usually bounces right back towards you. One and oh. On sacred eels, down low, two and zero. Oh. Oh, these Parkway hitters, they're battling out there. They're making Fonseca work. Fonseca waits the sign, and he delivers. There's a strike. Two and one. Line up and the pitch. Little low there. Three and one. Well, Fonseca has battled back from one three and one count today. Can he do it for another three and one count? And there's a walk. Two on, two outs. Chris Bear, the shortstop to the plate. Shortstop number seven, Chris Bear. Chris Bear hit into a double play in the first inning. Fonseca deals. Little low, says the home plate umpire. Fonseca takes a look at first and checks in. Runner back safe. Pettipas certainly a threat to steal in this situation. That's fouled away. One and one. Off. 
And we have time call to get someone to turn their headlights off in the outfield as it could be distracting, glaring in on the game. Can I have some assistance? Please ask the vehicle in the right center area to turn off the lights. Someone next to him, thank you. And now we are ready to continue. Bear steps back in. Runner taking off from first, and he's going to let him have the steal. Well, the Sevens have pulled off that trick a number of times. Send the runner from first to second, force the throw, and then send that runner from third right home, and Fonseca wasn't falling for it. A little outside, two and one. And you got a speedy runner at third in Jacob Gonzalez. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, three and one. The cleanup man, Dan Donato, do up next. Tom Nappy on the call for Ashland Sevens Summer Playoff Baseball. Connor Donovan on camera. The 3 1 pitch to Bear. Breaking pitch, it's a walk. Second straight walk. Center fielder number six. By Fonseca. Now bring up Dan Donato. The cleanup man with the bases loaded. Coach Obid wants a discussion with Fonseca. You got two outs in the inning. And Fonseca really has had to battle these Parkway hitters in this inning. And I got to give credit to Parkway this inning. They've had some great plate appearances. Really made Fonseca work. And we'll see what Dan Donato can do. Grounded out in his only plate appearance in the second inning. Line up and the pitch. Down low, one and oh. Well, Fonseca may be having a little trouble finding the strike zone. Wind up and the pitch. In there for a strike. One and one. Top of the third inning, a one nothing Ashland Sevens lead. Bases loaded for Parkway, two outs. Swing and a miss, one and two. And they're going to call him for the balk. A run's going to score. And Coach Obe doesn't like that call. I don't know if he lifted that foot up or not. It seemed like he just kind of turned towards third. I don't know, a little debatable there. But in any case, Gonzalez scores. He was trying to draw the balk, and he got what he wanted. So the runners advance, and we're knotted up at one apiece. Well, that's exactly what Gonzalez was trying to do, get the attention of Fonseca, distract him, get that foot off, or get him to do something just like that. And he turned and still had that foot on the mound, says the umpire. And there's strike three. That'll wrap up the inning, but we are knotted at one apiece, and we will head to the bottom of the third. 
You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Playoff Baseball. Things getting crazy here at Adams Field in Holliston. Bottom of the third inning. We are knotted at one apiece. Nick Calabrese stepping in. 9-1 and 2 do up. Calabrese, Dushney, and Farrell. And Coach Obit in a discussion with a couple of the Parkway coaches. And first pitch to Calabrese is a strike. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle and gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first. And he got him. Six to three, four out number one. That'll bring up Mason Dushney, the second baseman. Second baseman, Mason Dushney. Things certainly getting a little tense here at Adams Field in Holliston as Dushney steps in. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Wind up and the pitch. A little low. Of course, there was a balk called on Fonseca, which did indeed look like a balk. Kept the foot on the mound, turned his body, which you're not allowed to do, and the run ended up scoring for Parkway. It was a nice job at third base by Gonzalez as he got into Fonseca's head a little bit. The 2-0 pitch. There's a called strike, two and one. Kaplan set to deal. There's a strike, two and two. Kaplan set to deal. And there's a called strike, two away. That'll bring up Sam Farrell. In a fielder, number 10, Sam Farrell. Sam Farrell flew out back in the first inning. <clears throat> Wind up and the pitch. Inside, one and oh. Jackson Hornung do up, shall Sam Farrell reach? Wind up and the pitch, there's a strike. One and one. There's strike two. And Parkway started off the postseason with a loss to Walpole in the first game of day one, and then they battled back. They beat Kingston and then beat Walpole today to get to this level. That pitch down low. Two and two. They'll have to beat Ashland twice if they want to advance to the final four. The sevens have to win either tonight, and if they can't do that, they'll have to win tomorrow's game. As Farrell hits this one high in the air, over to right field, and it is caught. For the third out, one, two, three, they go. To the top of the fourth we go. We are knotted at one apiece here at Adams Field in Holliston on HCAM, WACA-TV, and HCAT. Top of the fourth inning, we're knotted at one apiece between Ashland and Hyde Park, and this is certainly by far the most competitive game the Sevens have had during the postseason as Kevin Zarnock steps in, five, six, and seven do up. That's fouled away. And this game certainly has been a pitcher's duel so far between Dylan Fonseca and Asher Kaplan. And it has all the makings of one of those games that if you make a mistake, you're gonna be the team that ends up Losing. That pitch outside, one and one. Fonseca set to deliver. Little low there, two and one.
Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, two and two. Zornok Brown and Goonan do up. Fonseca confirming the count. Leg lift and the pitch, fouled away. These hitters just continuing to battle for Parkway. They're making every at bat count. And this is a slow roller up the left side, picked up by Donovan, throw to first. And he got him. A nice play by Shea Donovan, a nice scoop by Kavanaugh. Five to three for out number one. That'll bring up Matt Brown. Matt Brown. Donovan really had to range forward to get to the ball in time as Sarnock showing off some good speed coming up the line. Fonseca set to deliver, leg lift and the pitch. This is hit high in the air over to right field and it is going to drop for a hit. It is still in the yard. Brown heading to second, and that's where he will stay. A one-out double for Matt Brown, showing off some power. That'll bring up Tommy Goonan, the catcher. Catcher number 17, Tommy Goonan. Well, that's the one area at Robert H. Adams Field that you could actually hit a home run if you get it past that fence. Off to center and left. There is no fence, so it's automatic ground rule doubles. And Brown almost had it to the fence. That was certainly on the warning track. First pitch to Goonan is outside. One and oh. Fonseca looks at second and delivers. Fouled away. One and one. Jackson Hornung cleared the fence out there in right field last night to secure the mercy win in the bottom of the fifth over Walpole. Fonseca looks at second and delivers. And that is ball two, two and one. Runner on second, one out. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is up the middle, and it is going to get by the shortstop, and Dushney picks it up. Everyone's safe. And that was a play that Donovan should have made there. And now you got two on with one out. I'm giving that an error. And that'll bring up Jacob Gonzalez, who reached on an error last inning and scored a run on a balk. Line up and the pitch. And he'll put this one in the air over to center field. It's caught. Runner from third is going to tag and he will score. And now Parkway leads it two to one. A sacrifice RBI flyout for Gonzalez. Matt Brown around to score. Goonan advances to second. That'll bring up Kevin Bruin. Second baseman number three, Kevin Bruin. Well, the first... Uh, Time Ashlyn has trailed in the postseason and he hits Bruin. Two outs in the inning, runners on first and second. Matt Anzalone, the right fielder, will step in. Fonseca set to deal, down low. Yep. 
Line up and the pitch, fouled away. One and one. Here's the one one. Checking at first, and the runner is safe, and advancing to third is Tommy Goonan. What a smart move there by Parkway, getting Goon into third. That was indeed a strike to Anzalone, one and two. And also good base running being displayed here by Parkway. Time called. Fonseca is set to deliver. There's a strike. And that will do it for the top of the fourth. But Parkway scores the go ahead run. And they lead it 2-1 to one as we head to the bottom of the inning on HCAM, WACA-TV, and HCAF. Bottom of the fourth inning, 3-4-5 and five do up for the sevens. Jackson Hornung, Dom Cavanaugh, and Tyler Dossis. If there's any part of the order that can get to Kaplan, it's this one right here. Hornung had a double in the first inning and scored the only run for the sevens. That pitch down low. He ended up scoring on a... Double by Dom Cavanaugh, who was then thrown out heading to third. Wind up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this one up the left side. Glove by the third baseman, the throw over is in time. Five to three for out number one. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh. Wind up and the pitch to Kavanaugh down low. One and oh. Leg lift and the pitch fouled away. One and one is the count. Kaplan deals. There's a called strike, one and two. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Two and two. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike three, got him looking, two away. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis. Shortstop number 13, Tyler Dossis. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options, I can pass it. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a strike. Doss is singled in the second inning. And he takes strike two, 0 and 2. And Doss just didn't like that call too much. And he will foul this one away. Here's the 0-2, and this is chopped forward, picked up by the pitcher, and easy out. One to three for out number three, another one, two, three inning for the Ashland Sevens. 
in their bottom half. We will head to the top of the fifth. It's Parkway 2, Ashland 1. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Playoff Baseball. Top of the fifth inning, two, three, and four do up for Parkway. Sam Petipa steps in. Dylan Fonseca hoping for a easier inning than the last two. A two to one lead for Parkway. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. There's the 0 1. And this is hit high in the air over to shallow right field. And ranging back, making the catch is Dushney. That'll bring up Chris Bear, the shortstop. Bear so far today is hit into a double play and walked. And he'll foul that one away. Oh, and one. Set to deliver. And this is up the left side, gloved by Dossis. Throw to first, got him. Two away. Nice throw over by Dossis. That'll bring up Dan Donato, the center fielder. Oh, this has been a great ball game between these two teams, and this is what you expect in the postseason. Wind up and the pitch, down low. A lot of tensity out there, a lot of controversy as well. And some very close calls. Wind up and the pitch, and some great baseball strategy today. Fouled away, 0 and 1. And one is the count. Fonseca set the deal to the lefty. Fouled away, one and two. Here's the one-two pitch. And there's strike three, got him, a one-two three inning. And we will move along to the bottom of the fifth. It's Parkway two, Ashland a one on HCAM, WACA TV and HCAT. Bottom of the fifth inning, Kevin Balowitz stepping in, six, seven, and eight, two up. To face Asher Kaplan, who has pitched a gem of a game so far against the very good Ashland sevens lineup. And this is up the left side and dropped by the third baseman. Can he get the throw there in time? Yes, he can. Good recovery by Matt Brown. Five to three, four out number one. That'll bring up Lawrence Tang. Two to one Parkway lead. Both of the runs Parkway has scored today are unearned as they scored on a error and also on a bot, but the hitter who scored reached on an error. As this is hit in the air, over to left field and caught. Two away. I'll bring up Shea Donovan. Shea Donovan 0 for 1 this evening. You know, the big difference really between Kaplan and Fonseca is Kaplan's getting a 
A lot more quick outs than Fonseca's really having a battle. Fortunately, last inning, Fonseca was able to settle down and get through it quickly. Line up and the pitch. Fouled away, one and one. There's the 1-1, one, one, down low. Nick Calabrese do up, shall Shea Donovan reach? And there is ball three, three and one. Sevens haven't had a base runner since the second inning. And this is hit in the air over to center field, and that'll drop in for a hit. A two-out single for Shea Donovan. Right fielder, number 19, Nick Calabrese. And that'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the right fielder. Nick Calabrese has been red hot in that ninth spot all season long for the sevens. And he's hoping to break through here. 565 batting average for Calabrese. He held the swing. Pitch was high, 1 and 0. 607 on base percentage. He's driven in 14 runs and scored 16. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one. Glove by the shortstop. He'll step on second for the force out. A six unassisted force out to retire the side in the bottom of the fifth to the top of the six we go. The Ashland Sevens trailing Parkway two to one on HCAM, HCAT and WACA TV. Top of the sixth inning, a two to one lead for Parkway over the Sevens, five, six and seven do up. Kevin Zornock, Matt Brown and Tommy Goonan. Dylan Fonseca back out there to battle through. He had a one, two, three, fifth, hoping for a similar result this inning. Down low. There's the 1 0. Low. 2 and 0. Well, Fonseca's had a battle a lot of these hitters. You'll wonder how much he has left in the tank. He's had to throw a good amount of pitches out there. There's a strike, two and one. Wind up and the pitch, down low, three and one. If I'm Coach Obit, I think about getting someone loose. Does look like Dennison may be stretching out. You would imagine Dasis will get the start tomorrow if there is a game and the Sevens can't climb back on top. The 3-1, there's a walk. Coach Obit going to have a discussion with Fonseca. Dennison is stretching out. It looks like he may be going over to throw. But Coach Obid talking things over with Fonseca. Runner on first, no outs here in the top of the sixth for Parkway.
Fonseca deals. There's a strike. There's the 0 1. One pulled back. That pitch low. One and one. One one pitch. The umpire didn't like it. Two and one. Fonseca looks at first and deals. Down low, gets by the catcher, runner advances. The infield ump will now move over towards home plate with a runner on second. to McDonald, the infield umpire. There's the 3-1. There's a walk. Second straight walk by Fonseca. And I can't imagine his leash is too long. That'll bring up Tommy Goonan. Fonseca deals, down low. Well, Fonseca just can't find the strike zone right now. Two on, no outs. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. There's a bunt, and it is foul. One and two. Runners on first and second. No outs for Parkway. Line up and the pitch, another bunt. This one's a fair ball. Throw to third, and they got him. So an attempted bunt, they get the out at third. And Zarnock is down. There was a bit of a collision with Donovan and a good throw over by Fonseca to Donovan to get the out. And Goonan slid hard, or excuse me, uh, Zarnock slid hard into third base, and he is down. We certainly hope he is okay. So it'll be runners on first and second with one out. Jacob Gonzalez coming to the plate, the DH. And it looks like we'll get a nice applause for Zarnock as he comes off. So right now the umpire not happy with one of the fans who was saying a number of things and now Jacob Gonzalez will step in.
Fonseca set to deal. And the first pitch is a strike. Oh, and one. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, one and one. He deals. A little outside, says the home plate umpire. Two and one. Now that fan was ejected from the game by the umpire. And there's a swing and a miss. Two and two. No Fonseca walked the first two hitters of the inning. Trying to battle back. One out in the inning, two runners on. Wind up and the pitch. It's going to get by Hornung, and both runners are going to advance. Wild pitch there. And, uh, Looks like maybe some warnings being distributed to both teams. Well, it's been a tense atmosphere here in Holliston today. And it's certainly a stressful ball game for both sides. As that pitch is going to be outside, there's another walk. He walks, the base is loaded, one out. And Kevin Brood into the plate. I think you got to pull the plug here if you're Coach Obid. But it looks like he's going to leave him out there for another hitter. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Well, Fonseca has battled back a couple times before. We'll see if he can do it here. Here's the 0-1, and the runner taking off, suicide squeeze plays on, a runner will score. Throw to first, they get the out, now another run, trying to score at from third, and he's safe. I know, it looks like they may have got him at home, and now there's some tense emotions here. It looked like initially he called him safe. But it looks like they did get the out at home. I, I was very confused by the signage from the umpire. I think what he was doing was he was saying the first runner was safe and then the next runner was out. So it ends up being a double play. So he was, I believe, ruling that Matt Brown, who came around, was safe. And then Goonan, who was trying to score, was tagged out. So it's going to be a three to one ball game as we head to the bottom of the sixth. And right now the umpire having a discussion with the Parkway coach. But a crazy ball game here at Adams Field, all kinds of Good action here tonight, and of course, there's been a lot of close calls, and close calls can often lead to some controversy. But it's been a fun one. We'll move along. Bottom of the six. Ashland has some work to do, trailing three to one on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAM. Bottom of the sixth inning, top of the order for the sevens. A three to one Parkway lead. Mason Dushney gonna see if he can get things going. First pitch is a ball, 1-0. and oh. Kaplan set to deal. Swing and a miss, 1-1. One and one. Looks like Parkway's 
Going to have someone get loose. Looks like Jacob Gonzalez is going to start stretching out in case Asher Kaplan runs into any struggles. That pitch a little high, two and one. And here was the situation at the with the crazy ending of the last half inning in the top of the sixth. So what happened was it was a suicide squeeze play by Bruden. And that pitch is going to be ball three, or excuse me, that's going to be a strike two, two and two. It's a suicide squeeze play by Bruden. Very good bunt. And Matt Brown ended up coming around to score. Then they threw to second to get Gonzalez, who was going from first to second. And then Goonan tried to come home and score. And they threw back home, and Hornung tagged him out. And apparently Goonan wasn't too happy and started getting into it with Hornung. And then there was some confusion by the umpires as Dushney goes down by way of the K. There was some confusion with the umpires' signage as he had a safe signal and then he had an out signal, but what he was signaling was the first runner was safe and the second runner was out. And Sam Farrell steps in. There's a the ball. Ashland sevens are down to their final five outs. And they trail three to one. If Ashland loses this game, they will play tomorrow at five. And whoever wins that game will advance to the final four. One and one on Farrell. It's been good pitching today by Asher Kaplan. Light up and the pitch. Fouled away, Farrell stays alive. One and two. Jackson Hornung do up next. Line up and the pitch. There's strike three, two away. Hornung steps in, he's one for two today. Had a double in the first inning and scored the only sevens run. Up high. One and O. Oh. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. Two and O. Oh. Dom Cavanaugh do up next. Shall Hornung reach? There's ball three. Excuse me, that was a strike. Sometimes the umpire says ball and then signal strike. It's a little confusing. Two and one. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Line up and the pitch. There's strike three. Asher Kaplan strikes out the side, and we will head to the top of the seventh, a 3-1 lead for Parkway. Top of the seventh inning, Matt Anzalone steps in. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the middle, but dropped by Fonseca. Another brutal error. Well, this team's in their heads right now. That'll bring up Sam Petapa. Baseman, number 15. Petapa is one for two today. He's singled and flown out. Fonseca's still out there. Trying to battle through as the Seven's going to save their pitching in case they have to play tomorrow, which they'll be down to their final three outs in the bottom of the seventh. Down low. Well, if I'm Coach Obed, my leash would not be too long with Fonseca. Last thing you want to let happen is Parkway get any more runs. There's a strike. Oh, 
Line up and the pitch, and hit in the air into right field. That's a fair ball and a base hit. Two on, no outs. Now we'll bring up Chris Bear, the shortstop. Shortstop number seven, Chris Bear. And that's going to be the day for Dylan Fonseca. He'll come out of the game and we'll have a relief pitcher here in the seventh inning. Louis Dennison will come in. We'll take a timeout. You are tuned into Ashland's seventh summer playoff baseball. Louis Dennison in the game, no outs, two on. Chris Bear to the plate. Louis Dennison gonna try to get out of this jam here in the seventh and try to keep it to a two run game. Chris Bear so far on the day, 0 for 2 with a walk. Well, Dylan Fonseca, he pitched six plus good innings against a very good Parkway team. Gave up four hits, four walks, four strikeouts, three runs, two of which were earned. Fouled away. He did have a good outing out there, but and a tremendous outing by Asher Kaplan so far in this game. And it'll be interesting to see what tomorrow brings unless Asher, of course, is able to come back and tie things up in the bottom of the seventh or take the game in the bottom of the seventh, but they'll have their work cut out for them. Wind up and the pitch. But of course it is possible. It can never count the sevens team out. That is for sure. They have had some tremendous comebacks, especially under Coach Obed. 0-2 pitch to Bear. Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air over to left field and caught. Are the runners gonna tag? No, one away. That'll bring up Dan Donato, the center fielder. Dan Donato. Donato is 0 for 3 today. Dennison gets the sign he likes. And delivers. And he'll get a good piece of this one into left field. It goes. Lead runner being waved around, and he will score with ease. An RBI single for Dan Donato. That run will be charged to Fonseca. Kevin That'll Zarnock. bring up Kevin Zarnock. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Dennison set to deal, fouled away, 0-2. Do up in the bottom of the seventh, will be four, five, and six for the sevens. Dennison takes a look at second and deals, and this is up the middle, and it's dropped by Dennison, throw to first, got the out at first. Runners do advance, but there is two away. 
So one to three, ground out for Zarnock. Matt Brown will step in. Matt Brown. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Brown has reached base all three times at the plate today. He has singled, doubled, and walked. And he has scored two runs. He'll foul that one off. 0-2. Here's the 0-2. Hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down for a hit. Another run is in, and the second run are going to be held up. RBI single for Matt Brown. Well, Parkway adding the security. It's a 5-1 game. That'll bring up Tommy Goon in the catcher. Number 17, the catcher. That run Tommy also Goonan. charged to Fonseca. Well, Matt Brown, he's certainly the player of the game offensively for Parkway if they hang on and get this win. He went three for three at the plate with a walk, scored two runs, drove in a run. 1-0 count to Goonan. Checking at first, runner back safe. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Goonin's also done some damage today. He reached on an error and had a double in the sixth. Inside, two and one. Wind up and the pitch, up high, three and one. Three, one pitch, there's a strike, full count. Goonan wasn't too happy about it. Runner taking off from first, fouled away. He'll have to retreat. Dennison set to deal. Ball four. Jacob Gonzalez will step in. Number 15, the designated hitter, Jacob Gonzalez.
Wind up and the pitch. Inside. One and oh. Jacob Gonzalez scored the first run of the game for Parkway back in the third. As he got Fonseca to Bach. Outside, 2-0. Oh. oh, there we go. We get a strike. One and one. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two is the count on Gonzalez. Two more runs have scored in this seventh inning for Parkway. They lead it five to one. Sevens will be down to their final three outs next inning. Fouled away. Well, the difference at the plate in this game has been these Hyde Park hitters just battling all throughout, making these sevens pitchers really work for each and every out in this game. Dennison set to deal. And he gets the out. We will head to the bottom of the seventh. Parkway leading the Sevens 5 to 1. You are tuned in Ashland Sevens Summer Playoff Baseball. Heading into the bottom of the seventh inning, 4, 5, and 6 to up for the Sevens. Asher Kaplan on the mound to try to complete. They win over the Sevens. But Kavanaugh, Dossis, and Balowitz will be in his way. A five to one lead for Parkway. The sevens down to their final three outs. If Parkway wins today, there will be a game tomorrow at 5 p.m. right here at Holliston. And if the sevens somehow end up winning today, then they will move on to the final four. There's a strike. Or ball two, excuse me. Two and oh. Wind up and the pitch. Ball three, three and oh. Kavanaugh one for two at the plate, had an RBI double back in the first inning. There's a strike, three and one. Wind up and the pitch, and this is up the middle, and that'll trickle into center field. Lead off single for Kavanaugh. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis. That is the fifth hit of the game for the Sevens. Dossis has one of those hits. He's one for two at the plate. Parkway did have Gonzalez getting loose in case Kaplan runs into any trouble. This is hit in the air, and it is going to be in foul territory and caught. Yeah. Oh, able to get there, one away. That'll bring up Balowitz. It's 0 for 2. There's a strike. Down low. One and one. Oh, 
Down low, two and one. Go get him, go get him. Line up and the pitch. That was low, three and one. He deals, fouled away. One on, one out for the sevens. A 5-1 Parkway lead, they're two outs away from forcing a game tomorrow evening at 5 p.m. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. And this is hit in the air, left side, and it is caught. Two away. Sevens down to their final out. Larry Tang steps in. Tang 0 for 2 today. And this is up the left side, foul, just Scorched by Coach Obed. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Swing and a miss, one and two. Yeah. And that'll do it. Parkway forces a game tomorrow at five. The winner of the game tomorrow advances to the final four. Parkway five, Ashland one is your final score. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. Thanks for watching this Ashland seven summer playoff baseball broadcast. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day. and We'll talk to you again soon.